We all crash. Whoa. Oh shit. At some point in time, regardless whether you're a beginner or a pro. Too fast. You're going to eat that. Trust me. It's not if, it's when. It's going to happen. It's just a matter of fact. It's part of the sport and it's simply a part of your progression. I'm sure you've had this multiple times. If you don't crash, you don't ride hard enough. And it's true. I've had my fair share of crashes. I don't know if I fancy this today. Yeah, I'll get <laughs> <laughs> oh. Kept me off the bike for a short amount of time. Luckily, I haven't had any uh, broken bones or any major injuries. And none of the crashes have had me questioning whether I want to continue to ride until this one. Ah. Ah. Oh. Ah. Ah. It was just a regular Sunday. I came back from a long weekend with the family and I had some time to spare. So I decided to go for a quick ride down the local. As per my usual routine, I packed my bike, I packed my gear and drove to the woods. Good trail, just when it's wet, it's absolutely terrible. I did some warm up runs, make sure that you know, I'm ready to get into the flow of things before tackling any more challenging trails. So I got warmed up and moved to some of the more spicy trails. Whoa. The weather was good, the trails were dry. I was having a good time, you know, and this is saying something, bearing in mind I live in the UK and nine months of the year, it's raining and miserable out there. Stop, stop, stop. Scary feeling. It's not stopping at all. No way. Ah, oh, so overgrown. Then this happened. Oh. <sighs> Me. So after doing some post-mortem and analyzing the crash, I simply just took the wrong line, lost control of the bike and hit that bank really hard with my left shoulder. And I hear you saying, it doesn't look that bad. It just looks like nothing on the video. And yes, definitely. I even had someone commenting saying, my grand has had harder falls walking to the shops, <laughs> which I can totally understand. So I definitely had some spectacular crashes where I came without any sort of injury. I'm all right. <laughs> you know, with a few bruises and off the bike for a few days, a week, maybe two. But this one, <sighs> I hit my shoulder right into the bank, it's really hard. So when I got up and I've touched it, I literally felt the dip in my shoulder. Right, I've done some damage. I'm gonna go back home and see how bad is it, but I can feel it. Ah, oh. oh, I think I've dislocated my shoulder. So luckily, where I had my crash, I wasn't too far from the car. So I've managed to pick myself up, uh, rode back to the car and somehow, and until this day, I don't know how did I manage to do it. I actually managed to put the bike on my bike rack. It must have been all the adrenaline because when I got back home, I couldn't lift my arm. So on the way, I phoned my wife and said, you know, I'm gonna need to have a trip to the hospital, so get ready. Uh, I got there, my wife drove me to the hospital and the NHS dealt with it pretty swiftly. So it took probably about 45 minutes until I actually was sent to an x-ray. Right, just waiting for an x-ray. No, I'm not that fat, that's my, <laughs> that's my arm here. I had a couple of x-rays and then had my diagnosis. I damaged my ligament in my shoulder and his sort of prediction is it's two months until the shoulder gets back to his full strength. But I think they are normally very pessimistic when it comes to that, so I'm hoping it's not going to be that long. So let's try and answer the main question of this video. Is the risk actually worth it? I gotta say, I love mountain biking. I love being in nature. 
challenging myself to conquer the next feature, the sense of achievement. All the enjoyment I get from that, it's hard to imagine giving all of that up. On the other hand, I start to consider all the risks that come with it. I'm not exactly a spring chicken anymore. I have a wife, I have a son, I have other things going in my life. Am I putting all of that in jeopardy by trying to push myself to go to the next level each time? I guess I'm gonna have to answer this question for myself. But here's the question to you, the viewer. Have you had any crashes or injuries that make you question whether the sport is for you? How did you deal with it mentally? I'm really looking forward to hearing your thoughts and experiences. And lastly, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. While I'm rethinking my life choices, I will be making more videos of this sort. So if you think it's your cup of tea, just consider subscribing. Again, thanks for watching. Hopefully it's been useful and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.